that all down for us. And Martinez Guzman is going to be charged with these crimes in a rather unique way. That's right. So both Washoe and Douglas County DAs have agreed to file charges together here in Reno, which is something that doesn't really happen. Ryan County picks up this part of our coverage in the newsroom. And Ryan, why make this decision? Well, and it's because both District Attorney Chris Hicks and Mark Jackson believe this is the best way to protect all four of the victims' rights. However, they did acknowledge that filing a single criminal complaint together in Washoe County for a case like this has never happened before, so there could be some legal issues along the way. This is uh, Wilbur Ernesto Martinez Guzman. Cases like these don't happen too often. But prosecutors believe that over the course of 14 days, this suspected murderer killed four people and committed multiple burglaries across two different counties as well as Carson City. The actions of the accused, Wilbur Ernesto Martinez Guzman, between January 3rd through January 16th of this year, are so intertwined between our respective communities. And it's for that reason that the Douglas and Washoe County DAs believe the best way to prosecute the suspect is by doing it together, even if there are some hiccups along the way. We understand that there could be some legal issues associated with that that will be resolved in the courts. This decision to file the charges together was taken after much research and deliberation, including discussions with representatives of the victim's families. Those family members who were in attendance at a press conference on Monday have the constitutional right to a timely disposition of the case, which is why prosecutors are working as quickly as they can to transfer Martinez Guzman from Carson City to Reno. We will be working with the appropriate Carson City authorities to request that Martinez Guzman be brought to the Washoe County Jail as soon as possible to answer for the charges we filed against him this morning. Yeah, and although an exact date hasn't been mentioned for when Martinez Guzman will be transferred to the Washoe County Jail, when he is, he will be held there without bail. Covering Crime Beat live in the newsroom, Ryan Kennedy, 2 News. All right, Ryan, thanks.